In 1969, when Concorde first took to the skies, it felt like the future had arrived. Transatlantic flights in just a few hours, faster than ever before. But the dream of supersonic travel wasn't all smooth sailing. Beneath the roar of its engines was a problem that grounded the Concorde for good. Sonic booms! These thunderous blasts of sound couldn't be ignored. They shattered windows, rattled homes, and made supersonic travel impossible over most populated areas. After three decades, Concorde disappeared from the skies, leaving behind a dream unfulfilled. But now, decades later, NASA and Lockheed Martin are bringing that dream back, only this time they figured out how to silence the boom. The future of supersonic flight is here, and it's quieter than you could imagine. To understand why this new project is such a big deal, you have to first understand the history of supersonic flight. The story goes back to 1947, when General Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier for the first time in the Bell X-1. It was a monumental achievement, ushering in a new era of aviation. For the first time, aircraft could fly faster than sound, opening up possibilities for quicker, more efficient travel. Then came the race for the world's first supersonic passenger jets, the Tu-144, a Soviet attempt, and the Concorde, a collaboration between Britain and France, were both monumental failures in their own ways. The Concorde, the better known of the two, was grounded due to a combination of factors unbelievably high fuel consumption, expensive tickets, and, of course, the environmental impact of its deafening sonic booms. But there was one problem these planes couldn't solve. How to fly fast without the boom? For decades, scientists and engineers have been stuck at this very same question. They knew they couldn't ignore the environmental impact. So, as the decades passed, Commercial supersonic flights slipped into the realm of dreams until now. To understand the significance of the quiet supersonic revolution, you need to know what a sonic boom really is. It's not just noise, it's the shockwave that forms when a plane exceeds the speed of sound. Picture this, when an aircraft reaches Mach 1, the air molecules in front of it get compressed and begin to build up. It's like pushing a car into a crowd of people, they all get squeezed together, creating immense pressure. That pressure eventually releases with an explosive sound. As the plane accelerates, the pressure waves accumulate, creating a loud thundering boom that can rattle windows or even break glass. It's this massive release of pressure that produces the sonic boom. And once the aircraft crosses that threshold, the shock waves continue to spread out, affecting everything in its path, creating a boom carpet that can extend over 70 miles behind the aircraft. In theory, if you could reduce the intensity of these shock waves, you could make supersonic flight not just possible, but practical. And that's exactly what NASA set out to do. For decades, engineers have been brainstorming ways to reduce or even eliminate the sonic boom. The breakthrough didn't come easy. For years, experts sat around drinking billions of liters of coffee, trying to figure out how to suppress the shockwaves. It wasn't just about building quieter planes, it was about redesigning them completely. The solution came from two brilliant minds, Robert T. Jones and Harold W. Carlson. Their theory was simple. If you change the shape of the aircraft, you can change the way the shockwaves behave. Instead of letting these shockwaves accumulate and create a loud, explosive sound, they figured out how to prevent the waves from converging. By altering the fuselage and wings, shockwaves would no longer combine into a deafening blast, they'd simply dissipate, causing a softer, thumb-like sound. This idea was picked up by NASA. They started experimenting with a variety of technologies to make the dream of quiet supersonic flight a reality. The quiet spike, a telescopic rod attached to the nose of an aircraft, was one of the first breakthroughs in the project. It was designed to weaken the shock waves and reduce their impact on the ground. From there, the project grew into something much more ambitious. 
The X-59 NASA's X-59 isn't just another experimental aircraft. It's a prototype for the future of supersonic flight. Built by NASA in collaboration with Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, this aircraft is designed to demonstrate quiet supersonic technology technology that could change air travel forever. The X-59 won't be a commercial airliner. It's not designed to carry passengers, but it's expected to prove something crucial, that it's possible to fly at Mach speeds without creating disruptive sonic booms. The X-59 was born out of a design contract awarded to Lockheed Martin in 2016. At first, no one knew how quickly this project would develop, especially given the delays caused by the pandemic. But by 2017, testing began with a 9% scale model in a wind tunnel, simulating speeds from Mach 3 to Mach 1.6. By 2018, the design was refined and given the name X-59 Quiest, Quiet Supersonic Technology. What makes the X-59 stand out isn't just its advanced technology, it's its unusual design. The aircraft measures nearly 100 feet in length, with a long, sharp nose and narrow fuselage. The wingspan is just 29.5 feet. It looks sleek, almost futuristic, but the design is entirely functional. The nose is designed to ensure shockwaves don't accumulate and merge, preventing the typical thunderous boom. Instead of an explosion, the shockwaves are spread out, causing a much softer, less intense noise. The aircraft's shape is carefully crafted to keep the shockwaves weak as it reaches Mach 1.5 faster than the speed of sound, but without the terrifying boom. But the innovation doesn't stop there. The cockpit of the X-59 is unique in its own right. There's no line of sight for the pilot. The aircraft uses a system of high-resolution cameras mounted on the nose to give the pilot a clear view of the surrounding airspace. It's an experimental external vision system, XVS, that uses real-time feeds, providing the pilot with the same information they'd normally get from looking out the window. Building the X-59 wasn't easy. The aircraft went through numerous stages of testing and development. Assembly began in 2019, and by 2020, the aircraft was halfway through construction. The General Electric F414 engine, capable of producing 22,000 pounds of thrust, was installed, and by 2022, the aircraft was ready for engine testing. Throughout 2023, NASA and Lockheed Martin tested the aircraft systems, running the engine at different power levels to simulate real-world flight conditions. In December 2024, NASA completed one of the final steps before flight, a successful engine test at maximum afterburner. With that, the X-59 was one step closer to its first flight, scheduled for 2025. This isn't just about one aircraft, it's about an entire revolution in how we think about air travel. The X-59 could pave the way for a new age of civilian supersonic flight. Imagine flying from New York to Paris in just a few hours, with virtually no noise, no more worrying about disturbing residents below. Sure, there's still a long way to go, but the X-59 is the first step in proving that quieter, faster, and more efficient air travel is possible. It's the beginning of a new era in Aviation One that could radically change how we experience travel in the future. What do you think? Will supersonic flight ever be practical for everyday travelers? Or is it still too early for us to dream of flying from Paris to New York in just a couple of hours? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating stories about the future of aviation.